Hey, what's up guys? This is me once again, ITT right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and actually uh, make some changes and on that those changes we're going to go ahead and um, we're still working on the mock-up of course and uh, let me open it up. Here we are, this is the mock-up and um, we're going to make a few changes on this. Um, this is where we left off on video number two. Uh, everything's fine, everything's good, good, good. Uh, the only thing that I want to add is actually on the logo here, if you go live um, and you click on there, there's no, um, uh, it doesn't link you anywhere and I want that logo actually to link me back to the main page of the website. So there's two ways of doing it actually. Uh, one way of doing those links on buttons or images is actually by selecting it and um, drawing a little box over the selected part for example there and then um, just press OK anyways um, and then just put in the link target like if you want a new page uh, blank page or what but what, what not that's one way of doing that the other way is actually by just clicking it and going down to the link section on the, on the link section uh, just type in the link index dot html and that's all it's that simple index dot html and now when somebody selects it it's gonna uh, send them back to the main page of your website normally it's like this right uh, so there's a border on it but if you want to get uh, rid of it um, just go ahead and on border section uh, enter zero and it'll get rid of it um, another thing that I wanted to actually fix is I wanted to I to switch this I have um, let me see I have this set up to where it's gonna be um, to the left and I actually want to switch it uh, not be to the left uh, so if I click there it's set to the left and I want it just uh, center um, and I'm gonna scoot this over just a tiny bit so if you go to live view now it's gonna show you um, this page better yeah I like it looks way better I like it I like it a lot um, so yeah so that's that at choices good Okay, and another thing that I wanted to do was actually um, change the background on the outer side of the page, um, which is going to be on the outside of this uh, table. And uh, I'm going to change the background. It's simple. Just click outside anywhere outside the table and uh, click Page Properties. And on Background Section, just go ahead and enter the color. In my in my case, uh, the, the color that I wanted to enter was... Um, actually uh, 399 and go ahead and click apply and OK and as you can see it's gonna change the whole color but again I only wanted the change to be done outside of the table and that's another reason why we add or I choose to add a, a main table and then just add things inside that table to create the website because uh, that main table it's gonna separate the outside from the inside okay so I switched the outside color uh, to that number 399 which is a nice green color that matches my logo now I want to do the inside of the table white back to the normal color that it was it's basically really simple um, on the first table that you insert it which is a big table uh, just click anywhere in it anywhere inside the first table but not in any other table make sense so for example I'm not going to click on any of those any section right here because that's going to be another table. I'm going to click out here where I, where I have nothing and uh, you're going to go to the CSS code and just change the background color to white and it's going to switch everything else to white and there you go that's how we're going to keep it because I want green outside white inside but now if you go to live view it's going to show you a little gap right around here and if that's what you want then that's fine you can keep that little gap in my case, I don't want that gap, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that gap and uh, click outside, outside on the main page and go to page properties. 
once you're in page properties you're gonna go ahead and uh, make some switches where it says uh, margins uh, simple top zero pixels bottom zero pixels and apply it should switch everything up and you're done now if you go to live view you're gonna see how it's gonna show right there zero pixels on this video that's all I wanted to cover how to add a clickable link on this on the logo so number two how to change the colors the outside color and the inside color of the table just to make it look a little bit better and number three how to get rid of the top uh, gap and uh, that's about it I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to the news to upload this to the site and you'll be able to check it out again um, follow on to the video number four now and on video number four we're gonna go ahead and add just one more thing and uh, actually do the pages for Dreamweaver Photoshop extras my section and contact us and uh, yeah so that's on video number four and uh, yeah talk to you guys later